JM Toriel has to charge his electric car only once every few days. He uses the charging port his company, Big Green Island, installed, which runs from energy collected by solar panels on the roof of his home. Given that I drive an electric car, it's just that much more cleaner that I'm taking out the tailpipe from the car and also not emitting anything into the air uh, from getting power from electricity. There are 90 solar panels installed on the roof of the co-housing complex, which gives residents a lower hydro bill for all 31 units and common areas. The cost for an average family home to install solar panels is around $20,000 even though the average savings are close to $500 per year. They're excited about the technology and they want to try out the technology, um, or they have just a more long-term perspective. So over the lifetime of the system, it's going to pay for itself. It's just not going to pay for itself in the first few years. Toriel has noticed his business has improved over the last few years and says when people make a change, they can try and change their entire lifestyle. They get rid of the tailpipe and then the next thing they want to do is put PV solar on the roof because they want to get off fossil fuels altogether. As well as getting off of fossil fuels, Toriel says he is saving close to $2,000 a year and reducing his carbon footprint by 80%. Kyle Benning, in Vancouver, for BCIT Magazine.